yeah. so this is just like an introduction to c4c what is c4c are you aware of what is cloud computing not in full yeah cloud I computing think. is like i can say you are not having any system handy it's on cloud so if you have worked on uh, i can say on from my system that requires a database on back end mm. okay basis team are the one who is configuring it but here mm. it's not required so sap c4c is a software service cloud offering from sap that runs on sap hana cloud platform okay so i can say it's a software service solution basically software there are three type of thing iaas pwas and swas so you can google it out are uh, these things infrastructure as a service platform as a service and software as a service software as a service means we don't have to invest much everything will be there on cloud we don't have to build any database thing we don't have to build anything so company what a company has to do is they just have to build uh, they just have to create their data centers and everything will be available on cloud so similarly sap has offered they are sap is having couple of data centers available so it's a software as a solution cloud often that is provided by sap and that runs on how hana cloud platform hana i hope you are aware of hana it's uh, like uh, in memory computing everything is available in the memory that is i can say everything is available on ram compared with the traditional sap system this cloud cloud crm combines sales customer service and social selling tools which enable sales representative to interact with customer in more meaningful ways and develop strong personal connections that allow for improved engagement across all communication channels so basically it means to say c4c i mean nowadays it's sales service and customer cx i mean i have already told you and then social selling tool i can say we can integrate our system with social media also we can integrate c4c with facebook we can integrate with linkedin we can integrate it with our twitter also so if anyone is complaining on twitter a service request will be generated automatically on the basis of that it's all integration about the third party with a third party right yeah it's all integration of the third see i told you i mean if you are going for an interview it doesn't matter whether you are expertise in sales or service first thing which they are going which we always look for is integration how good you are integration with you are good with the integration concept because see communication channel arrangements everyone is aware about it but they are not sure how to implement that thing what is certificate based and what is user credential based thing so this thing is okay. something which uh, i mean a person who has not worked on it but have seen the system they might not be aware of that thing okay and what a couple of person are doing is they are going to sap to i mean blog sap tutorials.com something like that so couple of person what they are doing is they are going through the videos and they are coming for introducing like we have implemented c4c project so i mean that is the thing i mean uh, which is not a right thing which is available on that portal but yes i will be telling you and everything in detail man, like what we have to do over there and what is the arrangements how we can build and what thing is necessary and what is c i mean if you are not aware of cpi what can be a cpi what is hci what is pi i will explain you these things also okay okay yeah the, mid- so the middle way right yeah the middleware i will only be able to explain you the middleware part but yes i will not be able to guide you on that thing because like yeah, that's okay not that's not, not our part yeah that's not our part right? they, they have to do right pi people or what pi person yeah. have to do pi yeah. people have to do but uh, what happen when you are working on a project like i can mm-hmm. say i know couple of uh, juniors uh, who are working and they are having good knowledge in cpi also okay like they know how to debug the things if something is failing in cpi they know how to debug it by performing a trace so these things are major things i mean once you start working on it in actual term na, you will get the access and you can start working knowing the basics is something which is required okay yeah. so the next thing is sap c4c focus focuses on an improved and easy user experience that is based on purity design principle so basically it's a purity based client so, so now this is like just on like how everything is on fury you don't have to dig anywhere that's the reason transport management came into a picture because like okay. in html5 we are having an option to upload and download our layouts but in fury we are not having these things so for that and with client i mean with the customer's demand this thing came into picture okay uh, so but, if i but, but, about... so, uh, so now we the layouts we cannot uh, download upload from one tenant to other tenant yeah. that's what you are saying we cannot download and upload it it's only transported okay and uh, one more thing the disadvantage which is there in i mean i will tell you and i'll working on that transport request now i'll be telling you these things over there Okay. So if we yeah. talk about SAP business suite, this is like ERP, CRM. Nowadays, if you are aware and if you are aware of the market, we are having S4 HANA system. ECC system is now a longer; it's not in use nowadays. We are having SAP CRM, SAP S4 HANA system, and initially we are having CRM system that is also not there. It's merged with S4 HANA system. Initially, it was introduced as a connector, but as yes, in S4 HANA, everything is there now. When CRM is also there in S4 HANA. 
so you can consider it it's like a erp solution or crm solution it's a set of business suit so that is customer on demand cloud integration option so that is integrated with our c4c solution sales social on demand and sap cloud position this is an open platform basically so if it's a standard one it's an easy connected thing so this is just like an overview how the things are connected we can access c4c on our mobile we can access it on our laptop we can access it on tablet as well so this you can say it's coming like a cloud so it's the cloud base and then this is just like an integration which is act as a middleware in system it can be a cpi it can be a ci cpi and ci are the same things and it can be a pi so this is our sap business suit okay okay moving on to the next slide this is like sales on demand is now sap cloud for sales so this is like browser based we can access it on and this is a traditional version of c4c i mean this is like initially when c4c was looking like that but now it's very good tool i mean the look and feel is very good initially when sap was sap was in very demand but where sap was lagging it was lagging in front end application sap was not good in front end so what happened slowly slowly sap tried improving that initially if you were you come came into picture and then sap itself is selling out so this is just like an c4c architecture which is taken from a google so i mean it's just i mean if you compare it with this one this is the same thing okay that's the same thing as like this one so it's like i said business suit customer on account on integration and this called the system this is just i can say a c4c architecture okay okay right. and then i was saying just yeah. have a look okay. at this picture so that i can move okay. forward i was waiting for okay. you okay. have a look okay. at that okay okay, okay. Uh, what is this cloud uh, uh, social engagement is for oh, social, social media activities and nowadays if i say this cloud is integrated with different cloud applications also now okay like fsm cpq this is integrated with a couple of systems now okay okay got it so this is how crm is evolved evolution of csap crm so initially it was just for a project bangalore then project minis can be acquisition then focus crm new dimension this is how crm is evolved okay and then crm enjoy sap it was before it was enjoy sap then crm 2.0 3.0 4.0 2005 and then in crm 2007 the bui came into picture it works a lot and then crm 7.0 and as in package one success factor 2013 onwards we were having i can say that cloud based solution was introduced okay so and i heard C4C wait, i heard i heard going forward the crm will be discontinued not uh, sure no, it will not be discontinued it will not be discontinued now because okay. it's integrated with s4 hana now there will be not they a separate system to do like that. the crm yeah when it's integrated with yeah. hana uh, right. then it right. will be not a separate system yeah it will be a, a ecc or s4 hana and c4c right yeah no 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 it's not like ecc is also wiped down now ecc c and okay. crm are traditional version of uh, i mean it's just like a three tier architecture base if you are aware of what is three tier architecture uh, that that i know yeah yeah presentation application and database so it was three tier architecture yeah, yeah. but after hana introduced hana was initially introduced in bi okay for business analytics and then later on it moved on to a bap and other things so nowadays i can say initially it was as for hana in 1809 release they have added cm that is crm as an extender it's like just like a connector in s4 hana but nowadays i mean it's uh, like a solution itself in s4 hana in the new release in the 2021 release or 2020 release so it's a part of s4 hana itself so crm i can say in layman terms if we talk about crm system that is going to discontinue in next upcoming years but yes it is replaced with s4 hana everything is there in s4 hana now yeah because there is no upgrade here in um, crm side i mean uh, long i mean uh, there is no upgrade here yeah it's in mean the there same is no upgrade Yeah, and what is the cyclo grade. what is uh, this uh, cyclo mobile crm yeah on the top right hand side top ah uh, this is just like uh, i mean how it was introduced don't worry about it this is just like evolution no one is going to ask you about that thing because oh, see yeah, every yeah. day for a while it's yeah. just like a, i can say mo- mobility based crm this is just like an evolution of crm and nowadays if you say uh, sap c4 system i can say it's a very good system okay so moving on to the next slide this is just like a c4c architecture the overall architecture of c4c is that of a multi tenant architecture which means that sap c4c and integration component itself is shared with other customers so i hope you might be aware of that or not but c4c we are having an options we can go with multi tenant architecture or we can go with single tenant architecture multi tenant architecture so, uh, i mean Yeah, multi-tenant means uh, development quality and production like that, or what we are referring to here, yeah. multi-tenant. It means uh, there is a cloud storage, I and mean, it's a cloud-based solution, right? So, dedicatedly, mm-hmm. there will be no database for you. Okay, it will be on a system base, okay. and similarly, okay. space Public which you are sharing cloud. other systems. Public and yeah, private cloud. Yeah, private cloud. Correct. Correct. Okay. 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 So, multi-tenant is known as public cloud. It's a public cloud. I mean. 
if you go for go for a private slot you can go for it that is known as single tenant model for customer which is a private addition for addition okay the multi tenant model means that whenever sap upgrade or release a patch it might override some of custom solution built in on top of c4c solution this is something i can say only 10% correct nowadays these things are also handled automatically yeah you means the custom okay. uh, things will override by the sap upgrade right? yeah i'm no, no i'm not saying that see what happened SAP C4C, if I'm talking about the technical part, that works okay. only and only on BO. If you are aware of CRM technical programming, that also works on BO, but that's based on bold programming. But here it's based on BO. So if everything is upgraded in BO, then we have to make changes to our custom solution. Okay, there's something which is referring to the technical part. You don't have to worry about the, I mean, the functional part. This is handled by the technical consultants. This is the most common core uh, concern of customer going on with multi tenant model, while the cloud push for standardizing customer will still need the industry specific and company modification. So you don't have to bother about this. These things are handled nowadays. I mean, previously when the C4C was introduced, this was a lot of thing, but nowadays these things are handled automatically. Okay, so the point to uh, are uh, we still uh, clients are uh, uh, taking this uh, working on this public cloud? Do we have see, it depends on the client? Yeah, I know a couple of clients who are working on a private cloud because see, I if I'm talking about private cloud, these things are for government organizations. Government organization, I, I mean to say they need everything in a private. It's not like that. Like you are going for a public cloud and your data might get leaked. It's not like that. There also there's an authentication. If someone is having access to that authentication, then only they will be able to access your system. Else they will not be able to use it. No, uh, so I'm not uh, asking that. about. No, I'm not asking the data. But I am saying mm -hmm. uh, when uh, the uh, some changes happen in the system, it will affect all the systems, right? All the uh, public. No, uh, that's what I'm saying. Initially, it was there when a C4C was introduced. Okay. Nowadays, okay. The, these things are not there. So don't mm -hmm. worry about it. I mean, it's just mm -hmm. like a simple release, like our mobile phone get upgrade. So it's something like that only. Okay. So this okay. is just like landscape. My, I mean, you just have to enter your number which you receive from a system, and then CRM dot on demand dot. Okay, uh, one just second. Like just, hold, just, hold, just hold on for a mm -hmm. minute. Uh, we have one okay. SAP Supervisor Tunnel, which is the configuration. UIT is Unit Integration Test, right? Yes, I will be explaining. This is something which uh, I will be telling you during our admin related configuration. This is just like an implementation project. Initially, when we are planning for an implementation, we receive a test tenant only, where we have to build up all the configuration related things. Once everything is done, client agree with the same thing, then we request SAP to create a production tenant. It's something like that. Okay. Just like a process, like how we are go we have to set up our system it's for that thing. Yeah, so initially, uh, SAP will give uh, one test and one production tenant, right? No, no. Initially, SAP will give us a test tenant. We will be building up each and everything over there. Once everything thing is configured then we will request okay. sap to give us a production tenant and move all the configurations to our production system that is known as live system so as a as a package when we are buying for a c4 system uh, test and production mm -hmm. will be given right only two systems will be given yeah test and production yeah even we can also request for a new system solution i mean for a new mm -hmm. tenant if required we can request for a new tenant also yeah yeah okay Okay. Okay. That is something which I will be guiding you well when I will be uh, showing you the system. I will be mm -hmm. guiding you that part. Okay. So this is just like a tenant ID. My dad something like that and for CRM but on demand. Even this is also having some sort of unique ID on backend. That is something I will be showing you when we will be getting the system. And then this is like subscription and tenant. As a customer to implement C4C, they would approach to SAP for licenses and user credential. Or this SAP would grant them space in the central server, and that space is referred to as a tenant. So basically, the meaning and definition of tenant is this. So just like, just like uh, I mean, SAP, if we compared C4C and Salesforce, C4C licensing is very cheaper as compared to Salesforce licensing, the user license. Any idea how much it costs? They ask for I mean, uh, per user base or something like that. Per user, user. per user base. Per user. Yeah, it's a per user base and it's very cheap as compared to Salesforce. And then when an organization approaches SAP for a production tenant, SAP would give a test tenant by free of course. If you need additional test tenant, you need to purchase additional. This is something which you were asking, right? Oh, okay. But what I heard is a tenant means is, uh, see, we are not the owner of the uh, cloud system. Uh, we are mm -hmm. uh, just we are just a tenant because SAP is going to take care of everything, backend and everything, uh, data storage. So we are not the owner. That's why we are called a tenant. Uh, I never heard yeah. this about the space service and space is referred to subscription. Tenant. I mean, subscription is something you are paying for something. So what you can do is, I mean, I will suggest you just uh, 
try to google it out what is cloud computing i hope you are not aware of that if you go with aws or azure just a basic introduction regarding cloud computing you will get to know because like subscription means we are paying them to maintain our data right because they are having data centers we are buying something online so that's why it's not right. a challenge yes okay so it's the same thing the terminology i mean the writing format is somehow different but yes the definition which you're saying is same i mean it's just like the same thing okay, okay. so now i mean this is like type of tenant public tenant private tenant is something which are already aware of and then i can say this is integration how we can integration our crm and c4c system on my system we are having pi c4c crm hci pi i mean this is like both we can replicate and then c4c hci erp so this is like how we can replicate our system initially when we are working on an implementation project the major thing which we have to take care is our master data replica. master data i can say uh, it can be organization it can be a customer it can be a product these are the master data because without these things we will not be able to create a service request or sales related activity we will not be able to do it without a customer and a product so, uh, I mean, one more thing I want to understand in, in which scenario we use the HCI, in which scenario we use the PI. Nowadays, uh, see, at CI, I can say it's a CPI only. And a cloud integration, cloud platform integration. These are the same thing now. Okay. And PI is like an older version if any company is already working on PI. So they will go with the PI approach because CPI is a bit costlier as, I mean, it's very expensive as compared to PI. And working knowledge on cpi consultants which are working on cpi that is also expensive as compared to PI. and the speed of cpi is faster as compared to pi because pi is traditional version of system this is just like uh, how the things are set up in system in the cloud network and on my system my set cloud my services cloud for customer tenant p and this is like cloud integration this is like a middleware how the things are done there's single sign on layer also proxy reverse proxy so is something which when i will be sharing with this ppt so you can have a look at this thing. okay okay this is just like an overview like how the things are working but yes when you will be actually working on it then only you will be able to understand these things yeah. and then this is like uh, how the things are how the application takes place initially it's a that is ecc b crm on promise then sales on plus sales cloud and this is like from ECC, we can send our order and quotations. Here, from here, we can send our customer, master, and contact person. This is like how replication basically works, how the things are working. So, ma master data is creating on ECC, it's replicating to CRM. Uh, that's what I can see. No, uh, it's just a business scenario. We can also replicate our data from ECC to sales cloud or from CRM to sales cloud. It depends. So we're having a couple of packages in CPA or PA. It's just like an example, like this is just like a business example of any other solution they are working on. Even they are Reference reporting is working on BW. We can do reporting on this sales cloud also. Yeah, but yeah, it's not yeah, a that's also that's so important. Also, uh, important topic of uh, interview. Right now. Yeah, that's an important topic. But yes, it's not much mature too. So that's the reason SAP is introducing SAC. That is known as SAC SAP Analytics Cloud because like yeah. this is something which is not a good tool of C4C. I mean, if someone is implementing a project. I mean, everything is implemented fine. Then only this analytics report is going to work fine. As there will be lots of flaws in the reporting part of sales cloud. It's not a maturity. Yeah, there also, I mean, uh, SAC is getting data from uh, C4C only, right? Yeah, it's getting a data from mm -hmm. C4C. Now. So more we data for from more data. Yeah, from more data. Mm -hmm. Even from more data, we can fetch our reports from third party system also. And then this is sales cloud. So, I mean, this is just the things which I will be discussing these things with you later on, like what will be there in sales cloud, what will be there in service cloud, what will be there in cloud engagement and solution capabilities. So before that, I mean, if we are having a tenant handy, that will be very helpful because I will be showing you the things over there. Yeah, that I will confirm you. 